Welcome to this week's episode of Superior Angling. We are up here on Lake Nipigan. Very, very windy conditions today. As a lot of you know, Lake Nipigan is a huge lake, so we are going to be a little bit limited in what we can do today. But the plan is lake trout. It is very, very end of September, the last couple days of September here. Right before the lake trout season closes, we have water temps in the low 50s, which means these fish are going to be up very shallow. They're going to be spawning. I'm guessing a lot of them are already done spawning. Uh, but we are going to target them via trolling today just because of the windy conditions. Yes, you can cast. Yes, you can you know, pick and choose your rocks that you want to cast to, but when it's windy like this, you have you can't really see the rocks, you can't see these shoals. So we are going to troll and see what can happen here. Blowing about 15, 20 miles an hour out of the northwest. We are just leaving the landing here. Let's go for a little boat ride and uh, hopefully see some big lake trout. At Hartel's disposal, we are proud to be your local hauler for over 65 years and three generations. Our focus on customer service has allowed us to become the largest locally owned trash and recycling company in the greater Duluth area. Servicing both residential and commercial locations, we have disposal solutions for every need. Trash and recycling containers, dumpsters and more, we have it all. Looking for a new and exciting career? We are now hiring for multiple positions. Visit us at Hartels.com today. Everyone has their own definition of home. For Dave and Susan Bauer, it's the road. But when a crash and rollover put the brakes on a trip to Florida and stranded the Bowers in the middle of nowhere, they needed to rely on a little help from their friends in the faraway land of West Bend. West Bend issued a check for the damages so quickly that they were able to continue on to Florida in a new truck pulling a brand new trailer so they could still enjoy their non-refundable place in the sun. Ask your independent agent about putting a silver lining behind wherever it is you call home. All right, we have arrived. Anticipation's high. It is cold. It was 29 degrees this morning. It's windy. My hands are numb, but that means usually good fishing. So what we have here is we're on the western side. We have the wind coming this way, kind of out of the wind here, but a reef that runs directly north and south here. It's about a half mile long and it comes up shallow. We're talking maybe 10, 15 feet. And that's the depths these lake trout will be at. So the lake trout spawn out here occurs a lot earlier than it does on Lake Superior. So a lot of your, I presume, what do we have, 54 degree water. Your fish out here are probably, you know, they're probably done spawning, but they're still gonna be up shallow. And the potential out here to see some giants is, is high. So there's great potential. It's kind of unknown. I mean, it's just, it's mystery out here, which I love, but we're gonna deploy rods. Again, we're gonna troll today. We're gonna use lead core. So maybe two, one to two, three colors of lead. We're gonna put two planer boards off our port side with big spoons. We're gonna long line one rod. We're gonna run these planer boards up onto this reef, keeping our boat off it so we don't spook these fish. It should be good. Let's get lines in the water. First fish, this came over a super shallow spot. Feels like a pretty decent one. Uh, this is just on a spoon, long line behind the boat. <laughs> First laker of my life here. Let's just see what we can do. That did not take long at all. Trolling maybe three, four minutes and she hit. It's a speck. Oh my gosh, that's a big speck. Well, the season's closing these fish. This is just a bycatch, so we're going to get her back in the water. Got that big speck right away. Blake got it within five minutes. Absolute massive fish, world class fish, but controlled for another two hours and no lake trout were seen. So, what do you do now? So it's just all kind of a part of the thinking program. Maybe we're fishing too deep. Maybe these fish are even shallower yet that we just can't effectively get when we're um, trolling. So we're gonna put away the trolling gear, bust out the casting gear, find some shallow shoals, and see what happens. This wind is piling in here. It could get these fish going. We don't know, we're gonna see. Let's put these around the way. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even describe what's going on right now. It hit right next to the boat. We are scrambling. It is super windy right now, but this is an absolute giant lake trout. On a white swim bait, casting, we found a shallow shoal right here. It's about four to five, six feet deep. And this, guys, is a huge lake trout. This is crazy. This fish is taking me around the boat. It's taking me around the boat. I can't believe the size of this fish. I can't lift it. I can't do anything. This is an eight foot heavy legend tournament rod. Like this is not a light rod and I cannot do anything with this fish. Eric's on net duty. I just have to be confident we have good hooks in it. I mean, the barbless single hooks up here. There it is he's right shaking, there. Oh, shaking. it's shaking its head. I got to come up to the front. This is an absolute giant lake trout. By far one of my biggest lake trout ever casting like this. Look at the colors on this fish. She's just an absolute behemoth. I can see her down there. Oh my goodness, guys. Dorsal fins the size of my hand. It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. It's just, it's literally just doing laps around the boat and she's just taking me for a walk. It's been kind of a challenge. Started off trolling, just could not get a program going. Yes, we plucked off that nice speck right away, but we just could not get the lake trout dialed in. So we found the shoal, we put away the trolling gear, like my you know 20th cast, this fish hits. This is what Lake Nipigan is known for, big, big fish. It's just the unknown. There's a few boats fishing back towards the landing, but it is so windy today. No one has ventured out here. We have this whole area to ourselves. We went through hell and back trying to get out here with big waves. We made it, and this is our reward for putting forth that effort. Eric, Eric, Eric! She's ours, she's ours. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at the size of this fish. Look at the size of this fish. That is an absolute behemoth of a lake trout, a big spawned out female. She's all done spawning. She's up here in the shallows. Four, five, six feet of water. Look at the magnitude of this fish. All of 22, 23, 24 pounds. Just a beast, but she's a big spawned out female. You can see her saggy belly. Two weeks ago, this fish weighed well into the 30 pound range. September, it's magic up here. Nasty conditions, tough fishing, numb hands, big waves, big wind. But this is your reward. This is what it's all about. What a fish. Let's get her back in the water. Unbelievable. Oh, just fan casting around, finally hooked into one here. Seems like a pretty good fish. Throwing a white swim bait and just crushed it. It's a lot of fun on this lighter gear. They're starting to burn already. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> that feels good. First lake trout? First lake trout. <laughs> yeah. Now I see why you guys like it so much. Jeez. Wow. Nice fish. Welcome to Lake Nipigan. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Well, just uh, <laughs> slow roll those swim baits in shallow there and just crushed it. That is awesome. First lake trawl for me and I think I'm hooked. <laughs> it's just a Storm 360. I think that's a three incher there. Just crushed it. What a fish, let's get her back. All right, there we go, buddy. Yeah. You got your, you got your lake trout. Finally got her. Isn't that fun? 
It is. I get why you're so addicted. <laughs> it's just, this is this specifically is just a style of, of fishing unlike anything else. Like, I mean, literally two, three, four, five feet of water. It's not a, a style of lake trout fishing that you do on Lake Superior. Your fish on Lake Superior um, spawn in much deeper water. Um, primarily, I think, just because there's such, such big waves out there. If they spawn in this shallow water, their eggs will just get, you know, ripped apart. But yep, yep. Um, yes, there's big waves right here on Lake Nippingham, but it's more protected. So these fish will move up in super shallow water. I mean, we can clearly see bottom. It's kind of, it makes you cringe a, a few times when you go up and down these waves, hoping you're not gonna, <laughs> not gonna bottom out. I mean, that's truly how, how shallow we are. Oh, I got a fish. He, oh, it's a big pike. <laughs> it's a big gator. Oh, that's the fun part about Lake Nipigan though. You don't know what you're gonna catch. Oh, it's, I mean, it's still a, like, it's still like a 42 inch gator, guys. Like, yeah. Oh. Bad, bad. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Lake Nipigan. That fish stopped my heart. I visually saw. I thought it was a big trout at first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much fun is this, though? It's insane. It is. It's insane. Like, what a day! Like, we just struggled this morning, and it was, you know, just kind of getting discouraged with our trolling pattern. And, but that's why you just gotta have an open mind and just, you know, and just do different things. And here he comes. That's a big fish. Jeepers, that's a big pike. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look at that. It came unhooked. Perfect. Right in the snow. Totally, Co. You are not happy, big girl. Nope. Look at that pike. That is what I will call a Lake Nipigan hat trick. A trophy speck, a trophy lake trout, and a trophy pike in one day. Look at this fish. That's a heavy, heavy pike. 42, 43 inches all day long. Just thick. You, those of you that watch our videos, if you haven't checked out our video from earlier this year where we catch these pike up to 47 inches, you gotta watch that one. That's a great video too, but look at this. Not the intended species again, but these pike are up in shallow, hanging out with the big lake trout. What a fish this is. Man, <laughs> that just stopped my heart when it ate right next to the boat. That was wild. Let's get her back. There she goes. Look at that big old gator, man. That's a big, mean fish right there. Wow. You just never know what you're gonna experience out here. What a day. The day just continues to throw curveballs at you and surprises. We still have a bunch of time left. <laughs> This is huge. Eric, this is like as big as mine, I think, when I saw it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm nervous for you right now. That's big. Turn to the boat. Let it, it's gonna, it's gonna wanna go. Yeah. Holy cow. Eric, that's massive. How are you so quiet right now? <laughs> can't, feel, can't feel my arm. <laughs> I'm going nuts. The yeah. colors on this fish are absolutely gorgeous. That is, oh my goodness. Do I know it? No, I don't, I, I don't like that. She's not ready yet, she's not ready yet. I just don't want to take a shot in the dark at her. Yeah. A day of Back just to the front. legendary fish. Oh, the colors on this thing are like it. as pretty as the leaves on the trees. Oh, it's not. He's shit, I know, I see right that. Now. If you can get a head, don't put too much pressure on it though. Yeah. It's like these fish are the, the caliber where they control you, you don't control them. If you try to control them, you're gonna lose it. It's just a big black blob on the bottom. These fish do what they want when they get to be 20, 30 pounds. This is a 30, 35 pound fish all day long. It's just slowly wagging its tail. Look at the colors. Get ready like if it tension. wants to run, man. Yeah. I know, I know they don't like tension, but without barbs, you have to keep enough tension on there or they're gonna get off. As soon as you wanna put a little pressure yep. on, yep. head yep. shakes, yep. goes. Yep, these fish goes are, on a run. These fish are just walking us around our own boat. And isn't that funny? Like, no information, no nothing. Like, neither, none of, none of us have ever fished this area. Heck, I've never fished this lake this time of year. 
in there for this time of year period. Right? I mean, it's just like, like you don't have to be dialed in on information to come experience this. Like, yes, we catch trout, but on Lake Superior, like this is a totally different lake. It's like five feet away and you just, yeah, you have a just, snag just slowly moving. You can't pull moving. it. He's just slowly moving. Did you feel him hit? Like, how did he hit? Just crushed it about five yards from the boat. Oh, really? Oof, close. <laughs> yeah. Just under the water, like barely even a boil. Uh, it's too far nope. from the boat. Eric wants the oh, almost. We almost turned it. His head won't turn to the I know, boat. I know. He's just circles. As soon as he feels that extra tension, he he runs. Oh, she's ours! Oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! My God. Oh my goodness! Look at the size of that Look monster. Look at the size of this lake trout. Look at the size of this lake trout. You have no idea what you just caught, buddy. <laughs> wow. Like, that was a monster. Look at this fish. What a fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the size of this lake trout. Just a monster. I can barely hold this thing. There's another one with it. Look at that. Put a jig down there. It's right by its side. You see that? There's like four that we see just scattered. Yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that feels good. <laughs> Another 25, 30 pounder. All right, I gotta get a measurement on this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, nice net job. Oh, There's four or five other geez. ones all with it too. That That's one, crazy. That one was almost as big as this one, the one right next that was literally swimming side by side. That was unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Oh. We were focusing, we had four follow the boat, all scatter. And we're getting our lines right back out and all of a sudden you hook up behind them in the back of the boat. Yeah, that other one literally just came right in with them. Jeez, crazy. just stacked in here. <laughs> Look at this fish. Biggest lake trout of my life. This is unreal. <laughs> Casting swim baits in shallow. <laughs> this is literally the most fun you can have in fresh water. <laughs> our day is winding down here. As that sun gets low in the sky, days aren't that long this time of year, so you gotta make hay while that sun shines. But uh, man, the day of monsters. I mean, just freakishly large fish, whether it was the pike, the speck, or the lake trout, every fish was just a trophy, true trophy size. We found one area that produced pretty much all of our fish. So it's. And what did we learn about that one area? It was that it had the right rock, and I mean, we bounced around this one of the reefs throughout the day with no success, just because it was big like shelf rock that these trout don't spawn on. You have to have the right size rock. And in our spot there, we found it. And I mean, there was not a ton of fish in there, maybe, you know, 10, 15 fish in that one area, but when we intersected them, they bit. What a day it was. That's just what Lake Nipigon is known for, the unknown mystery. You grind it out, you work hard, you're gonna be rewarded. So we had a heck of a day from Blake, Eric and I. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. <laughs>